Hi Church, my name's Claire and I'm part of our audacious Chester campus. My family and I have been part of the campus there since 2018 and I'm really grateful to God for all that he has done there, both in us and through us, for the things we've seen being part of the family at Chester. It really is my privilege today to share with you my miracle. I became a Christian when I was a teenager, when I heard the voice of God call me by name at a mission service. Um, I'd like to say that since then I've walked closely with God every day, but that wouldn't really be true. I have had seasons in my life where my faith has been important, where Christian disciplines have been a big part of my life, prayer, Bible reading, um, fellowship have been strong. But I've also had seasons where my faith hasn't been significant, where it hasn't been important for me and where it's been more important to me to fit in with the world around me. But the first miracle I can testify to is that God didn't change. God remained faithful to me in all of those seasons, whether I was close to him or felt far from him. He was always watching. He was always working. He was always providing and always waiting for me to turn back to him. I used to think that a miracle was limited to healing or to transformation, where sick people had a diagnosis reversed, where a job offer came through at the 11th hour, where a situation suddenly changed in such a way that it could only be attributed to God. But over the last couple of years and certainly the last few months, God has shown me there's a much more powerful, much more beautiful miracle that he does in our lives. I want to share with you some verses from Jeremiah 18. This is the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord. Go down to the potter's house and there I will give you my message. So I went down to the potter's house and I saw him working at the wheel. But the pot he was shaping from the clay was marred in his hands. So the potter formed it into another pot, shaping it as seemed best to him. Then the word of the Lord came to me. He said, can I not do with you, Israel, as this potter does, declares the Lord. Like clay in the hand of the potter, so are you in my hand, Israel. So the miracle I want to share with you and hopefully encourage you with today is the miracle that God does when it looks like he's not doing anything. The miracle that happens when it feels like everything's falling apart. The miracle that happens when prayers aren't answered as we'd expect them to be. God has shown me over the past few months especially that he's always working that he is always changing things and adapting me, making me different, making me new. He's always working on our heart. Some of the things he's taught me in the depths have been deep things in the heart. Some examples of those are that when I didn't like me, he still loved me, he still cared for me. That when I was crying out for comfort, he was building my character. That when I wanted freedom from a difficulty or a challenge, what he wanted to do was grow something in me to endure it. Too often, I want to tell God exactly how to overcome the challenge, exactly how to overcome the difficulty. But he is the potter and I am the clay. He knows what he's doing. His ways are above mine. His understanding is beyond mine. Just because he doesn't answer how I want him to or how I think he should, doesn't mean he's not working. In fact, the opposite. Often what he's doing is far deeper, far more long lasting, far more significant, far more transformational than the quick release and quick relief that I'm asking for. He is the potter and I am the clay. It's not up to me how he works. I want to encourage you today that God is the potter and you are the clay. He knows what he's doing. He has a clear plan of what he's wanting to accomplish in your life and he knows exactly how it's going to, he's going to do it. 
He has planned this in eternity and this is perfect. No matter what today looks like, he loves you, he cares for you, he is watching over you, he is working. He designed you and he knows you. You can trust him every single day until we meet him face to face.